not only is it the 4th of July, but it's also the day all of our things arrive from customs. They're about to deliver it to the boat. Yeah! It's not much, but quite a bit. All right, today is the first time we have a real project to do on the boat, and that is changing the Joker valve in one of our heads. Hey there. Ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. I think this is going to be a crazy uh, first task to tackle on the boat. Like, you know, when your head isn't working too well, it's just kind of scary. I feel a little sick to my stomach. We just fixed one, realizing I forget to wear the gloves. So next time, it's a little less nasty. Okay, we have two heads that have this backup problem. Yeah. So the first head was done w without gloves. Second head. <laughs> 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 That's a lot. Wear the glove. <laughs> wear the goddamn glove. <laughs> All right, let's do it. And the shoes. <laughs> and the shoes. And the headlight. Headlamp. Doctor. Doctor. <laughs> All right, so tell everybody what the problem is. So problem is, if you flash a little bit and wait five minutes, water kind of back up. This is called back fail. Uh, we need to fix it. So 4416 slash thousand. Everybody talk this part number by the way. Well, one more, once again, joy of a boat owner is to replace one of those bulbs. It's called joker valve. Where's the bad one? This is the bad one. You see my face through no, the... No, put it so you can see the light through. Nice. Through. Okay. You see lights? Yes. Kind of getting bad. This is probably using two years. So this is a new one. This is slight lights, but it's pretty good condition. That's a new one? This is a new one. Eesh. This is the bad one. Wait, let me see the bad one. Ooh, it's huge. Yeah. Okay. So this <laughs> stops the water coming back. Pro tip, open it, ready your pots next to you. Don't cut the pot, you know, stuff after you do a middle or something. Everything should be ready next to you. Okay. Pro tip. Pro tip. All right, I'm going. This is the fresh water pump. Water coming from our water tank. This is the poop hose going out. And we need to replace the bulb right here. And then when you do open this, water is coming out. Oh, it's coming. Uh, coming. It's coming. Yeah. It's pretty clean sewage clean. water. Yeah. I mean, it's not sewage water. It's uh -huh. been. Yeah, we just clean everything. We just had our tanks as much popped. as possible. Oh, yeah. Where's the bad one? Well, why is this guy? 
Yeah, that's pretty, uh, pretty rough. It's a wider mm -hmm. opening. Yeah, it's a little more skinnier lines. Okay. <laughs> Let's try it. Oh. Moment of truth. The moment of truth <laughs> has arrived. Okay. I think I did it. High five. High five. <laughs> gotcha. Air high five. That's nasty. <laughs> Kaz is working on fixing the AC and I'm making spaghetti, but this is <laughs> intense I'm over sweating. here. We've been in the Port Louis Marina for about 30 days and uh, we haven't moved the boat. Guess why? Because new boat owners have um, a hard time getting insurance. So we are still in the application process of getting insurance for this beautiful vessel. And I think we're very close to being insured. I'm getting a binder agreement today, hopefully. Still filling out our hurricane preparation process. We just finished the application. And then once we're insured, we can get the heck out of the marina and go sailing. This is where we've been for 30 days. All right, tell future boat owners who love having AC what that means. Well, hoping that your manufacturer install your AC unit correctly because this seems that someone installed this AC screwed up that <coughs> this is called condensate pan and this is a drain so water goes this drain to drain out excessive water on the pan and you need to make a hole onto the other side and then put the hose in right there but someone who installed this unit forget to make a hole here Water never drains and water always goes into the village and make it always nasty very water into the village. Nasty water in the village. Yeah, I mean it's not nasty, it's not sea water, but it is still nasty. <laughs> <laughs> How long did you spend on this project? Uh, today four hours um, and then a couple of days every day, like hour or so to figure out what's wrong. Just try out all other things and try on error and makes many errors. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, it's working. Thanks Roger. for taking care of that. Yep. Now we have all these issues. More issues. Water coming in everywhere. Here. Here. We've been in the marina for a month now, getting a lot of our boat errands done, but we still have lots to do. But unfortunately, we're getting kicked out because they've run out of space. They've been booked solid for a year in advance because Carnival's coming up. And we're under a tight deadline now to get everything ready to go. We have three days left at the marina. So we thought we'd give you an idea of how we get things done here in Grenada. First, you stand at the side of the road and wait the bus number one to scoop us up. Like that. Yeah, let's get that one. Mooring style, so someone's gonna come and unhook us. Well, we're gonna unhook ourselves. And then we've got to pass these two med moorings here and shove off. And we're ready to go. Way strong.
stronger than I'm not. Right. Sean, can can I introduce you? <laughs> this is Sean, our sailing instructor from Nautilus Sailing. And he's gonna take us out today, first time. Yeah. And we're excited. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. 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 Information down below. <laughs> While Sean was at the helm with Kaz, I was at the front of the boat, which is called the bow, untying our lines that were attached to two mooring balls. Sean would then put the engines in gear forward just enough to keep the boat steady from backing into the dock or pushing into the yacht next to us. You free on the bow? Yeah. yeah. All right, come on back. Next, we were ready to untie the stern lines and move forward. So we're gonna have you ready on standby on that one. And you're gonna release the top and then get it all on board. Okay. Right there. But you're gonna be ready to ease this out in a moment. Looks like there's very little wind. So let's ease off. Let's go neutral. Right, release yours. Right, now put it back into gear, forward. That's it. Upon passing the two mooring balls, you'll see Sean put the engines into neutral to avoid catching the mooring balls with our prop. Now that we've cleared out of the marina and we're out in the open ocean, it's time to raise the mainsail. And I'm thinking, I'm definitely thinking one reef. One reef. Right now, don't, let's not put full sail. Seems to be some gusty wind around. Let's take it easy. Okay. And the engine is very helpful in this instance because you can use it to hold the boat head to wind for as long as it takes to raise the mainsail. Our day of instruction included a ton of fun stuff like points of sail, tacking, navigating, anchoring, and even a couple of man overboard drills. We couldn't capture it all on camera since obviously we were busy running all over the boat but it was exciting and even exhausting at times, but without a doubt, it was totally awesome. Oh. How do you feel after today? <laughs> full day of sailing. Wow, full day. Well, no full day. Not full day, but... A couple hours. Are you tired? <laughs> I'm very tired. I am very tired. I'm ready to sleep until, I don't know, 5 p.m. now. Yeah. Drained, drained. Drained. Yeah. Well, we today is the last day at the marina. We get out and then just supposed to move out just Anchorage right next to the marina. But uh, the our friend Captain Sean said that from Nautilus sailing. <laughs> Nautilus sailing. Nautilus sailing said, well, let's go sailing for thirty minutes an hour. And then it turns out that he threw out my overboard lessons and all of the stuff and like I don't know a couple hours of sailing yeah it's been crazy day but uh, it's very nice right now so how was your first day on sailing it was so much fun I didn't expect to go sailing today so it was nice that we had the opportunity to go out with him and we have he's got a plethora of tips to give us gave us 
it was pretty amazing. Yeah. And what, what I'm really excited about is spending our first night with our anchor down here in this beautiful bay. Is this a bay? It, I think so. It's, it doesn't look like a bay, but it's a big bay, I believe. It's perfect. You have a few, you're surrounded by a few catamarans, but it's really peaceful. That, that's how I how amateur we are. Like we don't know that this is a bay or not. <laughs> we're such amateurs, but you know what? We're not. Um, we're very cautious amateurs. We're we're working yeah. with people who are teaching us how to do it, and yeah. we're not being irresponsible. So, you know, we're enjoying this moment and the beginning of this new adventure of living on a boat and traveling around the world, and. Uh, Everything is working out perfectly. Mm. I'm so excited. Awesome. So we'll just watch the sunset and share it with you. 